Hello traders and uh, welcome to InFocus. In today's uh, video we will discuss uh, GBPUSD, uh, Ripple and uh, as always uh, Gold. GBPUSD, as we can see uh, from the chart on the screen, this is a weekly chart. After touching uh, this support given, given by the pandemic uh, low, the pair started to correct higher and as I draw attention uh, last week, uh, let's go to 4 hour chart to see more clearly. I draw attention of the possibility of a small inverted head and shoulder here and uh, the possibility of a break above. And as we can see, we have this break of this confluence of resistance given by the neckline and the falling uh, trend line. And yesterday the pair accelerated to the upside and also at this moment we see that the pair is also going uh, up. So, assuming uh, you are not in a buy trade already, now is too late for this, uh, we should look uh, for uh, signs of weakness and uh, the resumption to the long-term uh, downtrend. A good place for this can be around here. If you go on daily chart, we can see here it's a strong resistance. So, we should look for selling opportunities around here and we can target this uh, old resistance now support or even lower to 115. A negation for such a trade comes with uh, a rise above uh, 119. <clears throat> Ripple. Let's start with the daily chart. So as we can see, like uh, most of uh, the crypto market, Ripple also uh, had the bottom here in mid-June. And after this uh, bottom, you can see that it reversed strongly. After this was a new attempt for a low and couldn't uh, drop under this uh, now support. We have a new leg up and again now a higher low. Going on the 4-hour chart, you can see also that uh, we have a false break of this consolidation. The coin reversed strongly and now is consolidating in this rectangle. So, uh, I'm looking to buy and for confirmation I will need a break above this resistance. I will target this high and with a stop loss under uh, support of this rectangle. As we can see we can also have a very good uh, risk reward for such a trade uh, above uh, 1 to 2. Gold. So, as I said yesterday, in my opinion, uh, the rise from uh, 1690 support is just a correction. And uh, as we can see, uh, this overlapping structure that also uh, suggests uh, a correction. Uh, although I expect a new drop to uh, support to uh, 1690, 
At this moment, we don't have a confirmation for such a move. For confirmation, I'm looking, uh, let's say, a double confirmation. First, we need a break under this trend line. This will be the first sign. Uh, and uh, the final confirmation will be if we have uh, a drop uh, uh, if we have a drop under yesterday's low, so uh, slightly above uh, 1710. In such a case, I will consider uh, this as a top and we can expect uh, a drop to this support. And uh, of course, uh, if we break this support, we can go even lower. So. That's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for your attention and uh, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.